We've had a lot of post-COVID tournaments that have had one very common character that we've seen a whole bunch of times throughout a lot of top eight graphics, through uh, a lot of top eight period. Characters Byleth. Pyramithra. I know. Oh, yeah, Byleth, right. Well, this is a, this is now a Byleth. No, of course, we're going to be talking about Pyramithra. Probably the most common, uh, most popular, top tier, picked up by, uh, you know, many top players. We're talking about is, is this character beatable? Is this character the best? Is she broken? Um, yes. I think yes. there's a That's... very strong <laughs> argument for the best. I don't say it, but I also don't disagree if that makes sense. So, we made this video a long time ago as well when like they first came out and like Summit happened, I'm pretty sure. So, uh... It's an interesting to see if our perspectives have swapped. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a, a, a copium dump is what what I'm gonna call it. Where, oh. so I didn't play a lot in the the COVID era, which is when like the Wi-Fi. Thing. Are you good? Yeah, I'm talking s sad violining. Uh, the world's smallest <laughs> violin. Exactly. I, I didn't play a lot in the COVID area, which is uh, when the character came out. Offline came back. The first tournament was Summit. There was. Three Pyramithra players, Fargo, MK Leo, and Cosmos, that were participating. Uh, I was like, the character obviously is good, but like, it can't be that bad, right? Like, there's got, we'll see, you know, this is my first time ever actually playing one. And bro, when I tell you that the the backstage area of <laughs> of Summit, we all hated Pyramithra after that <laughs> weekend, bro. Every single player was like, yo, this is broken. This isn't okay. This this gotta get nerfed. We got one more patch, ladies. We pray. Well, they did get nerfed, technically. What, their jab or something? Iris side B is three frames slower. Oh and, man, what a game. And whoa, whoa, whoa. smash is weaker by like 5%. Whoa, characters whoa. Care. Oh god, character's okay. Exactly. Uh, bottom 15 now. I don't know. I, I, I think this character is busted. I think this character, like you said, you said Fat Rat, you like to say is still the best, but like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even he if, hard. Even if Fat Rat was hard. Yeah, I mean, what? If Fat Rat was was, was the best. Okay. He's one of the hardest right. in the game. Pithra, or as I say, Pithra, is in like generally pretty easy if you are a high level player. Pretty easy. Pretty it's easily. Also, definitely the easier side. And like also at least top three in terms of like how good the character actually is. So like in my opinion, that means that they're the best because it's easy use, pick up, win. Like, you know, you don't have to spend your entire lifetime, yeah. 20 years using Pikachu to make it into just top hey, eight, you know? Why, that felt targeted. Yeah, there could be different wording, right? I'm just like, she might not necessarily, or they might not necessarily be the best, but they're like the best tournament character because it's not like, oh, you're playing slightly worse than usual, suddenly you're gonna drop all of your stuff that makes you broken. It's like the things that make Mithra and Pyra broken are like relatively simple, assuming you're not playing someone that has perfect counterplay all the time. But right now, no one's doing that. Yeah, character's yeah. too young for that kind of stuff. Like the, again, the most honestly uh, correct play we've seen against Pyra Mithra has been still tweak at Summit, in my opinion, when he played Spargo and Leo. But like, other than that, and unfortunately I haven't had a chance to play any of the top ones because I think I would do pretty well against them, but like, we haven't seen a lot of it at the high levels. Like, I mean, Spargo's I don't know, I beating... need Spargo. You... True, I forgot about that. So my bad. Where... Was he Cloud or Pyramid the whole time? I don't remember. He was Pithra the whole time. Oh, nice, let's go. Um, then he dropped that character, so. Hell yeah. Spargo's clearly the number two. Right, I think that's pretty safe to say right now. Yeah. So he's, he's beating everyone besides Leo, and sometimes you don't lose to Leo because they understand he understands your character. Sometimes you just lose to Leo because he, he's Leo. And by sometimes, I mean most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, about every time, every year, you know? Um, yeah, so uh, as uh, someone who's been a, uh, a victim of all three Pyramithra players, him, Cosmo, Spargo, <laughs> there's so much that make that character good. Like, I mean, it looks awful. Yeah, it doesn't help on playing probably her worst matchup now. Like, it was, it's really bad. The character covers its own weaknesses by simply pressing down B, obviously, because Pyramithra is just, like, combo frame traps and incredibly good neutral due to, like, speed and, you know, frame data. The weakness is supposed to be the uh, inability to kill, which is completely made up by the fact that uh, Pyra exists and has a lot of safe kill options that have a lot of range and, uh, quite frankly, not enough lag! for these kill options. Uh, and then a really good, uh, like a, a jail side B is what I'll call it, where it's it's yeah. a projectile and if you shield it, you're in jail. Like People say you can roll through it, but I feel like well, you, you have you to either understand the timing completely or it, like, it's very You know, can, it's just, it is hard, it's very hard. Yeah, it's it's, it's hard. like rolling through the mid cross, cross slash. Yeah. In Smash not... 4. <laughs> do, 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 do. And I don't know, I, I played, I played two of the of the pithros i played spargo and i played cosmos you beat cosmos they played different they played a lot different or not a lot different but they, I, I feel like you can kind of play 
at least Mithra, however you kind of want. You can you can play pretty passive if you want. Yeah. Because her her kit's just fast enough to just react Wait. to whatever your opponent does. Yeah. Or you could do what Cosmos does and just swing ass, and it just works <laughs> because you can you can miss twice and just cover it with another one of the down tilts or something. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I think one of the interesting things is like technically a lot of Mithra's moves aren't safe. Like we're gonna ignore Nair because we've talked about that one before, but like because they're so fast and have such little hit and shield lag that like even though the moves are like pretty punishable by most characters, assuming you have like any range in front of you, sorry Mars, we can punish them pretty easily. But because they're so fast, you've already missed five or six of the end lag frames of like the down tilt and you're like, oh, now it's minus like seven, which is way harder to punish. Yeah, it's hard to yeah. react to stuff too. It's like, like I, I remember, I, I've definitely said this before, where people were complaining about Rob, and they were like, "Yeah, Rob down tilt, you can't even react to the move happening because it's that fast." But like, yeah. they, they made a whole character <laughs> that was that. <laughs> All their moves True. are down tilt. <laughs> yeah, every move is Rob down tilt in the air, on the ground, <laughs> on the ledge, <laughs> smash attacks, like it's everything. Yeah, yeah, like down tilt's frame five, which is fast. Hell Oh, that's yeah. insane, dude. It's really, really fast. And it has, like, five frames of shield lag. So that's a 10-frame entire thing before she starts doing recovery, which is not really... Unless you're so looking out for it, which, like, you can, I guess. But uh, it's really hard to react to. Board smash for Mithra hitting below ledge is crazy. I want to just yeah. get that up. I have got two-framed by it several yeah. times as Pikachu. It's insane, man. It, like, the character's got a lot. Like, everything that you want in a character is what they have. Like, I think the worst thing about them is probably their disadvantage. And even then, the fact that Mithra's a fast faller is really good for... Yeah, let's really fast fall air dodge be a really fast good Fast fall option. air dodge, fast fall nair, switch. Accidental foresight. Foresight is also insanely good, too. I forgot about that. Like, a lot of... The way you deal with, like, unreactable stuff like that is just throw your projectiles and hope and pray that they run into a couple hitboxes. Mithra can just run up intentionally foresight and you will you will get destroyed. <laughs> Their biggest punish, punish here it comes. 40, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Down tilt up, tilt up, air back air up beat and you're like, cool, thanks. That was awesome. I, I did, uh, I played a little bit of, of friendlies versus some some Pithras and I experimented just making my whole entire game plan, literally just trying to edge guard them. Just every time they go out, I, I would throw them off stage Try to edge guard him, and I, I found a little bit of a little bit of, of working to that. So I, I, yeah. I feel like them off stage is 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 the weaker point. I don't know about yeah. weakest, but it's definitely a weak point for them. If you just kind of trail them off stage, you know, limit their options. But it's just yeah. kind of hard to put them in that situation because they're, they're broken stage. Implies winning yeah. neutral, you know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's really hard to win neutral. Like you you actually just have to guess because uh, Mithra is so fast. Like Pyra, you can definitely out neutral. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But they're not playing Pyra in neutral unless you're at 130 or you're choking against Leia. If, if you don't have that ability to just, or like if, you, if they're not playing Pyra, you're kind of just guessing because the options that you pick for like Mithra dash attack and dash grab, that's already a 50-50. And obviously every character technically has that, but because they're so fast, you have those you have to make those decisions from like a third stage, yeah, which is a lot. The yeah. the burst the burst range is insanely hard to respect too. They're like, yeah, they like dash so much there. D yeah. Dash near, dash attack, da like dash anything, just because the dash is like it's it's Mithra replaced Zero Suit for the best initial dash in the game. Yeah. Oh, so really? like you, ha yes, you have to. Really like does suck now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's got nothing, bro. <laughs> you gotta respect so much of that space and like, dude. Even against like Pyra, I've had moments where I'll dash away and I'll still get like grabbed. Like I'll try to like like whiff punish a grab or like a down tilt and I'll still get hit despite dashing away. And I'm like, bro, I am ZSS. That doesn't happen. Like, what is this hip hop? Yeah. <laughs> like. Or it's like, ridiculous. I won't have time to punish, dude. Like, it's one of those things to me that it's just like, they shouldn't have combo throws. It should be like 100%. Fox, where Fox has super blinding speed and a broken combo dash attack that's amazing. And then a bad grab that becomes broken because it's on a character that forces you to shield. Pyramithra forces you to shield and then does down throw back air up B or down throw forward air or down throw up air or forward throw dash attack if you're, yeah. if you're uh, that zero against Mithra. So like, don't know why they gave them that. Oh Jeez. no, I don't know why they made this character. To be honest with you, I don't. They just like, got bored. They just like, so eh, let's whatever. just give a character everything. Just let's just see what happens. You know. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, definitely, right definitely a fuck it character. Let's just, <laughs> let's just throw everything on her. What if we gave Mithra a Pac Man side B? But make it more the stupid. best character in the game. No, it's, it's but put the hitboxes all, all over the place, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> character's obviously very good. I do, I get, I, I get like whiplash when I talk to Leo, and he's like, yeah, Joker's still the best in the game over Kyra Mithra. And I look at him. I say, is it crack you smoke? No, nah, dude, he like, his his only argument is Pyramithra don't have a cheese factor. And I'm like, dude, that, that whole character is just good. That character is beyond solid. You don't need a cheese factor when- Like, they got the stupid down throw up smash or down, like, they, they down got air. stupidity. It's down it's there. Like, they gave Pyra stop knee, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, and that? also, and also they have the side B footstool stuff. Like if there's a, a platform stage, you get side B footstool wave line on platform. You cover like everything with a down air. So like, they definitely get characters done. But like, the only thing that I don't like about them, and the reason that I, I mean, I was thinking of playing them, to be super honest, obviously, because most of us probably beats, did, beats the f out of Game and Launch and beats the f out of uh, Ness, right? Mm -hmm. But like for me, and this was the problem I had with Min Min, it's terrifying to me that there's a concept of you get hit once and die. Not by like a combo, but just from like getting thrown off stage and then like having to play that disadvantage because I'm very Pikachu privileged and I'm like, I can make it back from literally anywhere. So. Yeah. Right Being up. like, man, I might get hit and die is scary. And that's the one thing I feel like that makes it risky to play them in tournament. And because you, I mean, you saw that at the end of, uh, what was it, main stage, where Spargo's like, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Oh, God, I got hit. And then jumped yep. when he really should not have and then got hit and then died because of it. So, like, the fact that, like, one decision, I'm like, you know, a lot of characters make one decision and die. But for a top tier character, that's pretty uncommon, especially one that is this good it's that's just terrifying to me that's just like oh you got hit and off stage and you guessed wrong you're dead yeah i was gonna say the character still but this is obviously all implying that first of all you you know win slash lose neutral depending on your perspective but yeah. the fact that leo plays that character bro, like that convinces me a character's broken that's enough too i'm sold no i think i think i think they're the best character in the game like hands down yeah i think the top three everyone agrees is Joker, Pyramithra, Pika. And yeah. You can yeah. you can argue the order, but majority of people will most likely put Pyramithra on the tippy top. Yeah, and I would too. So yeah, makes sense. Yeah, like this this game is definitely, in my opinion, the most balanced Smash game. So like you kind of just use anyone. Pyramith is just the best one. I don't know, just the best one. I wouldn't even say by a by like the greatest biggest margin in the world. You know. Yeah, the fact that we have three top tiers to argue amongst. Yeah, I think that's, that's good. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good.